Today we're going to have a look at this unusual little camera which is a Bicini Coral S. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at uh, an Italian camera that you don't very often see these days and that is a Bencini Coral S. Bencini were a camera company based in uh, Milan, Italy and they produced quite a range of cameras uh, over their lifetime and this particular camera was built between 1950 and 1953 uh, and it was sold widely throughout uh, the UK through Boots. Uh, so, we're going to have a look at this camera today. The Coral S is a very simple camera. It's made from a single aluminium casting. Uh, it has an extending lens barrel uh, with a barrel in place. You cannot activate the shutter, so you need to extend the barrel. Lock it into place just by twisting slightly to uh, my left and it has this one has a lens cap on it which is very rare to find they usually come without the lens cap as it's so easily to mis mislay uh, i'm not exactly sure what size the lens is um, i've had a look online and can't find much information but it's very similar to another um, bencini camera and i believe it's a um, 90 millimeter uh, it has one aperture of f11 and one shutter speed of 1 50th of a second. However, um, if you lift this little tab out here, then you've got the option of using a cable release and you've got bulb mode. So that's useful. Um, apart from that, you have the winder here and it's a 120 uh, film size uh, so in normal circumstances you can get uh, 12 6x6 six six images uh, now this ha also has a facility to take four and a half by six centimeter images with a mask that slots in now that's another thing that tends to go missing with these cameras and this is no different um, it's gone somewhere anyway with the mask in place you can get uh, 16 images which is quite useful so I'm going to try and find um, another Coral S uh, with a set of uh, uh, masks in it I think that would be rather a difficult task but we'll try Anyway, it's, it's that simple to use. Um, the shutter operates uh, without the need for winding the camera on or the film on. So that means you can get uh, double exposures very easily and if you want to, and it floats your boat, triple or even quadruple exposures. Um, I've never seen anyone do that before, but maybe some people like it. Um, as I say, it was sold through Boots. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the price was at the time, um, but uh, these days you can pick these up. I think I picked this one up for about between five and ten pounds, and I have seen them go uh, for up to 30, 40, 50 pounds, but um, I think that was more luck than anything. And as you can see on the back there, You've got the facility to move this round depending on. Let's get it right. Move this. It's rather stuck at the moment. Oh, that's it. Move this round depending on the size of the film that you're using. It also has a cold shoe and it does have a flash sync port there, which is useful. The focusing is done by this ring at the front and they can get quite stiff and it's common to find them that you can hardly turn them. This one isn't too bad, although it's probably not been used for many, many years. 
and the closest focus distance is six feet uh, all the way to infinity as you normally expect uh, so as I say it's not the easiest thing to uh, to take pictures with but with practice uh, it's not too bad but it's an interesting camera to shoot and I, I enjoy using these types of cameras um, so yeah let's have a look at the film If you enjoy reviews of these types of cameras, please stick around because I've got uh, quite a few more to come. Uh, some more common cameras and some uh, strange little off the wall cameras and cameras you don't hear of very often. So please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more to come.